What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If we're just meeting, my name is Garrett. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller showing you guys how you can make a living off Amazon as well. In today's video, we're talking about yet another way to build out and expand our Amazon product catalog. And specifically, today's topic is about bundles and creating bundles and looking for bundling opportunities, one, with products that are already in our catalog, but two, products that may not be in our catalog quite yet. So stick around for today's topic and enjoy. So today we're going to go over yet another way that we can continue to add to and build and really develop our Amazon product catalog. And today, again, we're going to be looking inward at our specific products and our specific storefront. So if we go in here, we're going to actually need our own storefront ID. Um, and this is obviously just a random store. Your ID is sort of this middle long character. This one begins with an A, ends with an M. Um, but that's the number. It's going to be in your URL if you're in your own storefront. That's the identification number that we're going to use. So if we come back and keep a product finder, we're actually going to scroll down until we see um, restrict your results to listings with offers from specific sellers. Right, and so this is the one we're actually going to be pulling up our own storefront in our own catalog, right? And you'll check your work. These are obviously should be if you're doing this live, all the products that you are currently offering. And so Keeper Product Finder gives us some very interesting information in regards to our particular products. And I know we've gone over and spent a ton of time developing out and building out, you know, reverse sourcing and using our products to find the next products and so on and so forth. While that's always great, this is just another scope to approach this development. And so here in Keeper Product Finder, the interesting column actually is all the way to the right. And it is the frequently bought together column right here. And now there's a couple different ways, and first and foremost, this frequently bought together column is Amazon's data saying, all right, given all of our consumer information, given all of the customers that buy products, it's statistically significant enough from this line item, right, whatever this is right here, these white shorts, a lot of our customers are getting this SKU as well, and this is maybe a different color, yep, blue color. And so for whatever reason, a ton of Amazon customers are getting this specific color along with this color. Now there's a couple, again, a couple of different things we can go about this way. One, we can source this because we could probably get it from our same supplier, same source, relatively similar source, and add it to the catalog because we know this product is moving as well. But what's probably even more interesting is looking at bundling opportunities with these particular products. Right, and for example, if we went to Amazon XL, and it just so happens that it's the same color, right? If we went to Amazon and searched both of these together, there's likely not going to be a bundle. Um, we can do dry fit shorts two pack Nike. You forgot. Right, and so that gives us an opportunity to add to the Amazon catalog. Now, again, it's going to be under our own brand, and so we're really going to own rights to that product. I think we lost Keeper Product Finder. And so that gives us an opportunity to, one, own the listing, make the listing, come up with our own A-plus content, bring it to the catalog, and potentially even have the ability to start kicking people off and really own that listing. And now it doesn't stop there, right? And let's see if we can get back to our data here. It also gives us tons and tons of information on other products as well, right? And so if we already have, if we're already selling these blue shorts along with the white shorts, now it's little to no effort to make a listing with those two together, right? We go through Amazon, add a product listing, buy a, G, a GS1 identification number, which take, you know doesn't cost much. We really have a listing up within the next week or so. You don't even need to be brand registered to do all of this. But it gives us other other options too, right? And this is going to be the XL black. And I'm assuming if we scroll over here, maybe it's a different color. Yeah, with a white XL. And so you can see it's Amazon's doing the hard work for us in terms of identifying 
another product that already customers are looking for in the realm of the first one. But again, more importantly and more valuably is potentially bundle opportunities. Now, sure, it's, this may be a weird one to bundle, but say if you were doing a lot of grocery items, right, that is a huge opportunity to start to really, really build out and, and develop your, your catalog in a more sophisticated way. Say you had maybe a a bag of, of coffee grains, right? You add, and now customers get the coffee, but now they need like a little scoop or a spoon to spoon that coffee into their coffee maker. Well, if customers are already looking for those two things mutually exclusively, well, why not make that even more so easy for the customer and putting it in the same listing allows them to save on shipping potentially, just speeds up the process, gets it at the same time, same day, and it makes it a, just a generally better customer experience for them. And so this is something that you really, really, really need to be looking at. And again, so this is just a Nike seller. Again, that's you know size nine. I'm assuming a size nine, a different color. So this is really working, working super well for us. And it just again gives us another opportunity to continue to build out. And I would so I would what I would really do is is plot this in Excel, and and put on a, the same row item. The, the say the first listing and then plot out each additional listing um, because it's just going to give us more opportunity to organize this information source the secondary products and ultimately look for bundling opportunities where we can potentially sell them together on the same listing and really own that listing that's it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one